Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I thread my lip hair. This is a new video. This is not typically the type of video that I post, but I am all about hair and grooming, and this is a big part of my grooming routine. I thread my lip often. I kind of grew it out, not very much, because this is a typical week or two, but I grew it out a little bit to do this video and to show you how I went from that to this. And if you've never threaded before, it is painful. <laughs> it hurts, but you get used to it. So I start out using Garnier Micellar Water. I like to make sure that the area is very, very clean before going in with any thread. As you know, or maybe you don't, threading, you know, you're pulling the hair out of the skin and you can easily get like a cut or anything like that if you're not too careful. And so you wanna make sure your skin is nice and clean. I take the thread and I do a nice little loop-de-loop -loop knot and I do that twice. So I make sure that it's tied nice and tightly two times so that it's secure. And I'm just showing you guys here how it needs to be very secure in order for me to use it. I wrap it around my hand about 13 times because that's just about the amount that I need and this is the hand movement that I'll be doing to get those hairs. So right now I'm using my tongue to push my cheek out in order to access those hairs easier. It just makes the threading process a lot easier for me. What you will see later is when it comes to the very center, I don't, I just quickly go through that because that's one of the most painful parts of the threading process for me. So I like to get that done super quickly. Now I'm just showing you the difference between the threaded parts and the not threaded parts. It really does get that hair completely out of the skin. And because I've been doing this for years, I get very, very close to my lip. I mean, you don't have to be doing this for years to get very close to your lip, but it makes a difference getting those very, very small, tiny hairs out. I like to get every single hair that I can possibly get out. I start from the corners because I'm just more comfortable going that way and I work my way towards the middle. But you will see me going back throughout the video and getting those tiny hairs on the outer corners of my lip. I go outwards towards my cheek a little bit. One time I went to get my cheeks threaded and I dealt with the worst acne. Those scars took me years to clear up. And you know what I did? You know what I did shortly after I got my scars cleared up? I tried it again on myself to see if it was just the first time the person didn't know what she was doing. No, my skin does not like not having hair on my cheeks or my sideburns. It was a real problem. So now I just do not do that. Let me know, you guys, have you ever gotten your cheeks and your sideburns threaded or your face threaded and you just dealt with terrible acne. Like I'm talking, I scarred for like a year. I had, it took me years to get rid of these scars. And now that I have my skin like this and I know from experience, cause it took me two lessons. I did it myself once and then I went to somebody the other time. And let me tell you, it was bad. Like the scarring was bad. So share let me know i can't be the only one and if you've dealt with acne from threading before and you found ways to mitigate it do let me know because i would like to thread my cheeks a little more not my sideburns we'll never do that again but my cheeks and excuse the dry nose i am a user of tretinoin and it does cause my skin to get a little dry i'm on the process of seeing what cadence works for me but yeah my skin just gets a little dry especially when i'm threading so just ignore that
Ooh, okay, I'm hurting. I have to mention that I learned threading from watching Indian women thread. I used to go get my eyebrows threaded religiously. Now I get them tweezed because I don't have, I'm not confident enough to thread my own eyebrows. I will thread my lip, <laughs> my chin, but my eyebrows, no baby, I leave that to the pros. So I've learned from watching uh, these women. I've learned from watching women on YouTube, Indian women specifically, Iranian women as well. I just like to go straight to the source <laughs> where it was created or where it was perfected, you know? And so that's who I learned from. So I encourage you to watch those videos, watch different videos. They might have more precise techniques. They might have different tips and tricks, but this is how I do it. And it works very, very well for me. Again, you have to be careful because you can cut yourself. I was going a little quickly and I nicked myself, but I just quickly cleaned it off with some micellar water and kept it moving. Also, if you do end up watching some videos, some people may recommend the vanity thread that you can get on Amazon. Um, I guess it's the thread that people use in India or, you know, that's the thread that people like to use to thread. I had to throw away two of those Johns because they were so thick. They weren't getting any hair up. It was so hard to use. And why, why order thread online when you can just go literally to the dollar store and get some thread like it's this thread is going to last me the rest of my entire life there is no reason to order that thread if you have thread near you go pick up some thin thread and do your thing some all-purpose thread honey it works it works wonders it works even better than the thread that was meant to be used to thread your skin at least for me i cannot speak for other people but for me, this thread is the best kind of thread that I could possibly use. It gets up every single hair. I don't have any issues. It's amazing. After versus before, you guys can see that there are no little hairs inside. It is very clean. I dimmed it a little bit so you could see my skin better during the after, but such a huge difference.
just like at the start, I go ahead and cleanse the area again. Oftentimes there are little hairs that kind of stick to your skin that you can't see. So I like to make sure that I get all of those off before I go in with my aloe vera. And what my aloe vera does, it just really soothes my skin. You can use any type of aloe vera that you want, but anything that just helps soothe the skin afterwards, because it is painful. All I know is it helps my skin feel a lot better. So I just get that on a little cotton pad, fold it in half, and then I wipe it all over the area that I just went over very generously. And there you have it. A nice and clean upper lip and lower lip and chin. I really enjoy the process of doing this, especially when I take a picture or a video and check out the after versus the before. Thanks so much for watching this video guys and subscribe.